Okay, right here, we're just measuring off the floor for the wood grain. Now you can do as narrow or as wide a planks as you, as you want. Now we're gonna go every six inches. Now every six inches, I'm just gonna make a mark on each side of that room. Okay, now we're gonna get the the filament tape out for the, the wood. What's nice about this tape is the tape has fibers running through it so you can pull it tight. So we're gonna pull it across this entire project. All right, we're getting ready to mix up the concrete overlay. As somebody's spinning the drill in that garbage can, somebody's gonna pour in the bags. So once these bags are both in, then you're gonna mix for about two or three more minutes, moving the drill up and down, kind of smack the side a little bit, get any dust off the side. Now I'm going inside and we're pre-hydrating. Now I'm dipping that five gallon bucket into the mix and somebody's just holding another five gallon bucket over the bucket. And that's it, we're gonna get the majority of it out before we pick it up and then dump the rest. I want it light enough where I can just pick it up. So the first thing we wanna do is we wanna work from the wall to the outside of the garage. And the first thing we're gonna do is just try to get it out about a foot to a foot and a half. Now what's left behind that, that squeegee is the perfect amount of overlay to get our hardwood texture. And so you'll notice all he's doing is he's following the lines on the ground. He's just running it parallel to the wall. And the size of the crushed marble in our mix and the way that the pool trowel is just curved slightly on the edges makes for a perfect wood grain pattern. And you're just gonna hold that, that pool trowel perfectly flat. You're not trying to bend it. All you're doing is trying to keep it perfectly flat and just running it back and forth on the ground. 
See how it's just kind of pulling and he's just fault going absolutely straight from wall to wall. That's the process. I'm just gonna move all the way out of this garage. gonna mix up the Ligari stain without anything in it. So we're just gonna grab our electric drill, just mix it up in case anything has settled in the bottom there. And then once we've done that, we're gonna open up the Ligari pigment with a screwdriver and we're gonna dump that in. Now we're gonna add two gallons of the isopropyl alcohol. So we're just gonna mix that while we're dumping it in. So once we add this second gallon of isopropyl alcohol, we'll mix it for about, you know, another 30 to 45 seconds and then it'll be ready to go. And you're going to pump it up really, really heavy. Looks like it's good to go. So now just gonna, this is so simple, just gonna try to do some light, light mist, and you're just gonna go back and forth or in a circular motion and just kind of lay down a mist all, all on the floor. All right, so we're using 80 grit sandpaper. We're just overlapping about halfway, going back and forth. Okay, so now we're gonna pull the tape on the floor. Now we're gonna do a section by section. You can kind of see where I'm pointing. We're gonna focus on a square at a time. And so what I'm doing is I'm just painting on the foundation and I'm also going to bring it out a couple inches so that that big 18 inch roller doesn't, doesn't need to get all the way to the wall. 